This is the story how I was stuck overseas by myself with no way home. It's the summer of my 19th birthday, which was last year, and myself, my dad, and my aunt were all talking about the recent trip that my dad and myself took to Fairbanks, Alaska to go dog studying. It was, it was a fun time. She comes up after the story and she asked me, would you like to come to Ireland to visit me and my extended family? And of course I say, sure, of course I would love to come. So fast forward, you know, a month later, my bags are packed. I'm driving to the airport and I'm at the airport ready to go to Ireland a month later. I take out my phone, I open my United app, and this is where the benefits come into play. See, I cannot actually use free benefits unless the plane is unbooked. So that would mean passengers book seats on the, the flight. If it's fully booked, if the plane is full, I can't fly because I didn't pay. I'm flying for free. But if there's like one or two seats available, I can fly because I work for the airport. So I pull up to the airport, I check the app, Sure enough, there's a couple seats available for me to hitch a ride on. And before you know it, I'm flying all the way to Ireland. I arrive in Ireland, and the first thing that I do, whip out my phone, check to see if there's internet. There's no internet. How am I gonna contact my, my dad or my aunts, right? Email, that's the, that's the only way. I can use email on a public Wi-Fi. That's the only way to contact my dad or my aunt. I can't use them to, to help get me to where I need to be. So I gotta be a little bit resourceful, right? Somehow this guy used his resourcefulness to go find a bus in Dublin, which took me to a ferry, which took me to an island, which was where my extended family was staying. Not bad, not bad if I do say so myself. So I get to the island, I get to the island. And something I need to mention is my extended family, they're a little bit younger. While I wanna look at the 15th century castle on top of the hill, they want to see how much Robux they can get and adopt me or whatever. I learned a harsh truth. The island is a mile long. We take for granted the vast space that we have in America to roam free, you know, shoot guns and uh, a lot of other stuff. They only have an island. Safe to say, with the island and the younger extended family that I had to deal with, I was a bit bored. So after the third day, I hate to say it, I had enough. When my aunt came home from the town square that evening and opened the door and walked in, I said, I want to go home. She's like, oh, why would you want to go home? But I was, I was stubborn, I was prideful. And I said, this is my decision and I'm gonna leave this weekend. She said, oh, why do you want to go home? I don't know. But she accepted it and she gave me her blessing. But without saying one thing, she said, Connor, if things go south, if things go south, I have a friend in Dublin you can stay with. No, no, it'll be fine. I assured her. I didn't want to burden anybody. It'd be, it'd be fine. In reality, I had no idea what I was going to do. Packed my bags again, took the ferry to the mainland, waved them goodbye. You know, my cousins are neck deep in the iPad. So I arrive in Dublin. I pull up my app and I'm looking. Flights back to America on United. Zero. You know, uh, well, what else do I got? Well, I could stay with my aunt's friend over here. I could stay with her to figure things out. And then I thought, nah. So I stood there, I'm like, how do I figure this out? How do I creatively problem solve this situation? And I said, okay, not flights out of Dublin, flights out of a different airport. And I'm looking, I'm looking, I'm looking, uh, Manchester, England, let's try that. So I'm looking, I look up Manchester. Oh, flight from Manchester to Newark, New Jersey. 20 seats available, that's crazy. That never happens, that never happens. So I booked the flight without a second down. I'm like, boom, perfect. And it's off to Manchester. I get on a tiny plane from Dublin and I arrive in Manchester and the flight is in the morning. So I gotta sleep all night. I sit down in the lobby among the benches of the other passengers who are sound asleep as they wait for their flight, but I'm so excited I do not sleep one bit. As I'm sitting there among my fellow passengers, I'm thinking, Connor, you are so resourceful. You got." You got us out of a jam back in Dublin and now we're gonna dream sweetly all the way back to America. As I'm saying that, the intercom goes off overhead. All right, now do a security checkpoint. I'm like, let's go, let's go, I'm ready. I'm ready to go. The flight's at six, it's three. I'm like the first guy in line to the security checkpoint because everybody else is asleep. He goes, next, all right, next, next. all right, next. 
And finally, they get to me. The attendant's sitting over here, he goes, next. So I stand up there, take out my phone, my United app, I get the boarding pass, I scan it on the gate, waiting, 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 error. I'm like, okay, take a step back, do it again, waiting, 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 error. So at this point, the attendant calls me over in a very nice British accent that I'm gonna do. Hey, come here, come here. He's like, let me see your boarding pass. So I just whip it out real quick, give it to him. Takes it very casually, and he's looking at it, looking at it, looking at it for about five seconds. And then after five seconds, his face changes. Sir? And he hands me back the phone. I don't know what airport you booked that for, but it is not this airport. So I'm freaking out, I'm grab the phone, I'm like, what, what does he mean, what does he mean? I booked it for this airport. So destination, Newark, New Jersey, okay, uh, where is it coming out of? Okay, Manchester. I had booked a flight from Manchester, New Jersey to Newark, New Jersey. Not Manchester, England. Manchester, New Jersey is like an hour away from Newark, New Jersey. I rush back through the line, rush up back to the information desk. I'm like, I can figure this out. I don't need help. I can figure this out. So I explain the situation. I'm like, hey, I, this happened and then I couldn't do this and blah, blah, blah. I'm like, I need a flight back to America. Suddenly her face changes. She goes from this to, she's like, sir, we don't service flights to America out of this airport. Okay, um, I need a United flight to, to uh, a different airport so then I can fly back to America. Sir, we don't service United flights. So then I'm thinking, okay, uh, but, but as the app said, I'm a... I flew to an airport where there was no flights back to America and no United flights, which was my app. I'm, now I'm full blown panic mode, panicking out the wazoo. And I go back to sit down the same bench where the other people were sleeping and I was excited to go. There's no one there anymore. It's just me. And I'm panicking, I'm freaking out. I will be stuck here. I will be stuck here forever. There's no way I can make it out of this airport at all. And I'm, I'm sitting there, I'm thinking, I'm gonna be stuck here, I'm gonna be stuck here. But I'm wrong. There is one way I can get out of this situation. I can't do this on my own. I need to ask for help. As I'm sitting here panicking, I, I finally realize that. And slowly but surely, I reach into my pocket and I take out my phone once more and I send an email to my dad saying, I made a mistake and I need your help. Phone back in the pocket. One minute goes by. Five minutes goes by. 15 minutes go by. Still waiting there. I reach for my pocket and I pull out my phone, an email from my dad. We'll talk about it when you get back. The reason I'm telling you this story is because in life, we're all gonna be stuck one way or another, whether that be through our work, career, whether that be emotionally we're stuck in a singular place, or whether that be in an airport halfway across the world. Probably not that last one, but you get my point. And most of the time we're unable to ask for help. We just wanna do everything ourselves. But I'm here today, this video is here today to tell you it's okay to ask for help. If I did not ask for help, I would be stuck in the airport in England with bad teeth and a sword that I have to fend off the homeless people with, okay? I truly believe that if you ask for help, you can accomplish things twice as much as if you didn't. I'm gonna leave it at that. I'm not gonna get too sappy. I'm not gonna end it with anything else. But if you did enjoy this little story, click up here. You can watch another one. If you wanna subscribe, click here. I'm gonna run, I'm gonna run 10 seconds out of this video. So you gotta choose. Are you gonna subscribe or are you gonna click the video? Or am I gonna kick you in the face? Yeah. Bye.